Good afternoon everyone. I found an old article that I wrote about three years ago. Um, like with all of these articles, you know, you could look at it, this and it's going to be called 101 Signs of Becoming Successful at Business. You could argue most of these points. Some of it could be, it doesn't mean you're successful. It could be, it could be that you're involved in lots of business or it could, it could be because you're making lots of money. Um, so this is just some observations that I made as my life was changing quite rapidly with the growth of the bars, the media company, um, seeing extra cash coming in because obviously it's all relative. It doesn't mean that it's all mine, but there's a, there's a lot of cash that comes through because there's a lot of bills. So I wrote this for a little bit of fun and a little bit of insight. 101 signs of becoming successful at business or at least going in the right direction. But then again, you could be going in the wrong direction or you could be um, just making some serious money elsewhere or inherited some money and you're, and you're busy. One, banks become a daily chore. Um, a lot of people here have VIP access to banks. Um, we don't have that because they, they wanted 10 million baht in our bank and I was like, well, if I have 10 million baht, I'm going to put it in business. I'm a business guy. I'm not going to have it sat there. But then on the other hand, you know, if you're growing your business bigger, then you should have 10 million baht in there. But anyway, um, we, we, we do have near that amount, but you know, there's just no point having it sat in your personal bank. You know, this is business and then there's personal. I would never have that much personal money. Um, I would be buying more houses and more businesses. Two, constantly trying to get mortgages we, we apply for mortgages all the time. I think we've got um, four failed ones. We had three in Satahit and three in Bataya. And we're gonna get one more um, when our income allows. Three, seeing accountants and lawyers often. There's always problems, there's always meetings. Four, trying to remember when car insurances expire. At one stage, like, we had like several cars, partly because we were doing a um, car rental company partly because I like having cars and it was a real pain in the ass no they weren't expensive Lambos they were just normal cars but I, I had my fun and I was having one different car every day of the week because sometimes we weren't renting them out but having lots of cars was lots of stress for me now I've got um, a, 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 a nice uh, C-Class and, and I've got a little um, Daihatsu mirror for a little bit of fun. I'll show you a video on that. But having different cars means you have to have the same things in each car or you have a little bag and you carry things around because if you leave your car license in your car, then the other cars don't have it. Um, four, uh, five, chasing up debts. You know, there's always um, money outstanding when you run a business, there's always problems and the more businesses you get, the more debts there are. Six, money problems don't go away, they just get bigger. So um, what I said in the previous video is that sometimes my electric and the water would go off um, because the, there's a well and the pump's attached to the well. So you, your problems just get bigger. You end up chasing down a lot of money because you want to buy a new bar or you want to expand. So instead of looking for 5,000 at the end of the month, you're trying to squeeze together two or three million baht. Um, seven, c collecting rents. Now, um, when you when you have a lot of money, uh, I, I prefer stocks and shares now, but I went down the rental route and we have to collect rents and the rents are very low amounts of money in it and it, it annoys me so much that I'm just gonna stick to stocks and shares from now on. Um, eight, managing people. As your business grows, you have to learn how to manage people. There's lots of leadership books out there. There's lots of books to help you with that. Anyone that doesn't read those books, they're, they're not going to get as much loyalty. They're not going to get staff as keen to work. Um, nine, courses and education. Okay, a lot of people, they don't reinvest in yourself. You don't need to, but please read books. The, the difference between me and a lot of guys is a couple of books. That's all it is. But I had the faith to pick up the books. And it's just a ch shift of mindset. And that's why I did this channel, because... I want to help people shift their mindset. If they're happy the way they are, fine. If they want to live their dream in Thailand, maybe it's your mindset, mindset is broken because I'm no better than anyone else. I've just um, 
been on the uh, Tony Robbins um, train, you know, to start with. Nine more holidays, of course, because you're working harder, you can play harder. So I have this motto, we, we travel often, um, but we work hard. So, you know, some people um, work nine to five and they've got a lot of time free. We, we just work, you know, people come around my house and they're laughing because I'm still working and I don't stop until I go to bed. But um, people say that, you know, you, you need to stop working so much. You've got to remember that my work is different to other people's work. When I was an electrician, that was work. When I'm answering comments and I'm doing um, stuff with Nightwish Group, quite often I enjoy talking to managers, I enjoy dealing with staff, I enjoy most of it. If I've got to knock up a website in 24 hours, or at least help knock up a website in 24 hours, that goes into the work category and then I get uncomfortable because um, I'm used to having other people doing certain things and we have a dedicated team, but being a leader or, or a CEO or whatever it is, we have to shift. And yes, we can pay people, but when you're dealing with money and you're dealing with um, websites, it's better off just to get it done yourself. You know, we have lots of offers for people to help us with money, but what, it's very hard to trust people with, with um, a serious amount of money. Because when, when you need help with money, everyone comes out of the woodwork. Um, 10, less small things to worry about. And uh, the thing is, I don't agree with having a maid because I want to look after my kid myself. But I don't have to worry about putting the bins out. I don't have to worry about what, where's, when's my clothes going to be washed. I don't have to worry about a lot of things. Yesterday my car had a puncture and um, someone went and took it off for me. You know, it was, I don't have to worry about these little small things. And it's not because I'm lazy, it's because if I spend two hours going to get a puncture repaired, um, what, you know, I'm better off spending two hours doing some hours. 11, bigger things to worry about. So my worries are big, you know, is our company gonna survive? Are we able to pay the rent? Are we able to keep our staff? Um, local issues with local authorities you know there's always something around the corner um, so even if I'm not doing anything all day I'm, I'm still carrying a weight on my shoulder I'm still thinking 100 miles now I'm still thinking months ahead my fight is months ahead most people are looking for the, the, for the, for the next day managers should be looking at the day and, and the week but for a leader, he should be thinking months and years ahead. And this is where I have to try and explain to people. Um, number 12, work long hours, but play hard when you get a break. So, um, yeah, I, I spoke about that before. A lot of guys think that you can get rich by, um, by working smart. You have to work smart and hard. It doesn't mean you need to do 20 hour shifts in Tesco's. But it means that you need to be there for your team 24 hours a day if possible and you need to be switched on about it all um, 13 moving away from alcohol and training more so I, I started drinking less because I needed more time and I got about 60 hours back per week and then I started going down the self-development route and I realized that I needed to train more so I started training more and um, if you don't train, your mind isn't as strong and you realize that you have to train. If I stop training in the morning, I start eating the wrong food, all my bad habits come back. I'll do a video about that another time. 14, having any hobby you want. If I want to go and fly my dad's airplane, I could because I'm working and I'm making money. Whereas other people, they're like, well, I'll, I'll get a remote control plane because I can't afford it. I, I always say, if you if you want to do something make the money not say that i'm not going to do it because i can't afford it um i'll, I'll talk about that another time so for 15 having rich and powerful friends that are useful open doors for you once people know that you've got a bit of money and it's not always the money it's the mindset i'm not looking for rich people to hang around with i'm looking for people with the same mindset people find that confusing I'm not going to ignore someone because they're poor. I've got a couple of friends and they just, they have hopes and dreams and that's good enough for me. Um, so when you're rich, it's not like other people want to be your friend. I mean, rich is a very, um, I don't like using the word rich because it's, it's very generalist. Like what, I'm not rich to me, 
but other people say I'm rich and then I see other people and I'm like, well, that's rich, you know, but, you know, rich in life, um, having, uh, having some clouds, like a YouTuber could be completely broke, but business owners see them as, um, on that, as useful, um, there's lawyers and there's all sorts of people back at home that would never ever be interested in me, but they see me as a business owner. They see me as someone that that can help or maybe they just, they, they, they like my mindset. They like people that are successful. So you do attract more like this. 16, needing more people to reach and trust. If you're handling money, if you're handling business and you're doing some serious stuff, you need a good, you need a good circle around you that you can trust with things that are happening and you need uh, people, especially in Thailand, that you can trust with money, licenses, um, all sorts of things. 70, large losses occasionally. Now, when you first start making money, you um, make bad investments, you have bad business ideas. There's a, lot, there's a fast learning curve. People buy expensive courses. They um, go into, like they pay, pay for trading courses. You know, I've been down some of those routes 18, stress. Um, you have a lot of stress and you need to manage it. And reading books and um, having an outlet like Muay Thai is a great way to manage it. Y you could be um, d doing some meditation in the morning. You could be just, you know, shagging as much as you want. Um, may maybe you, s you smoke drugs or something. I mean, weed, I, I don't know. Um, lots of people deal in different ways, but I recommend is just to do some um, hard physical sports, you know, like BJJ, um, Muay Thai, boxing, and just get the adrenaline out, get that aggression out. 19, hedonistic lifestyle. So if, you, if you've got the money, you can start going to nice hotels, you can um, play, play the field with women, you can, um, you could, you could do all sorts of things. I, I don't, I, anyway, I'll, I'll leave that one. A hedonistic lifestyle, 20 appreciating and enjoy finer foods. Now, I'm the type of guy that will um, eat anything and not moan, partly because I'm English, um, and partly because my parents just gave me everything when I was younger, and if I asked what was for dinner, they would just say shit with sugar on, and I'll sure can take it, you know, so thankfully, I got brought up like that, but you, sometimes it's nice to go to a nice restaurant, and I did do that in the early days, because I really, really appreciated it now, I don't care about that too much. I'm, I'm not one of these guys that wants expensive wine, but I do um, enjoy being treated uh, nice in a nice restaurant and having service. So, um, 21, not doing things that you don't want to do. So when you make money or you're successful, you can start delegating. And if you really, really don't want to do something, you can get someone else to do it. Whereas when you're starting out, you've got to be the toilet cleaner, you've got to do everything. So anyone that says, oh yeah, but that, that business owner, he, he's, he's not working, he's not doing all these things, he probably has done all these things. When you open a business, you've got to do everything. You've got to do all the nasty stuff. When I opened Nightwish Bar first time, I was there from 2 p.m., sometimes 1 p.m. until 6 a.m. the next day. And I did lots of stuff because when you're starting out, you need to learn the business anyway. So 22, there's lots more choices. So you can um, live wherever you want, within reason. You can have a nicer house, you can have a small house, you can have two houses, you can have a condo in the town for a bit of messing around, and then you can have a house in East Pattaya. There's, um, there's quite a few choices you can do. So, um, oh, sorry, not doing. Yeah, tw 23, having the ability to help those surrounding you. So you can help charities, you can help your friends in trouble, you can help your um, your brother or your cousin that just needs something for Christmas. That's one of the best things ever. So whenever people talk about anti-money and stuff, remind them that you know, you're the guy that can help out your family. And it's a great feeling. I've helped out my uncle coming over here. I've uh, helped out my brother. It's, it's good, you know, when my older brother came around here, he, he's got a good job but I, I was able to make it more comfortable for him by, by making sure I had a bigger house before he came here, um, renting a bigger house. 24, give to charity often. That's a great thing you can do. 
instead of fundraising, which is a major ball ache because everyone accuses you of stuff, you can just go down there, drop some money off and leave and, and everything's easy. 23, regular visits to land office. Now, if you're doing property and stuff or borrowing money against property, there's always visits to land office. So I don't get this so much, but the, the, there is all sorts of reasons why you need to go to land office. 26, managing your contracts. So um, having your contracts in different drawers, having all the paperwork, making sure the rents get paid on time. You know, there's like 30, 40 buildings and it, it, my wife takes care of that. It's okay, it's not my problem. 27, knowing business law. So you need to know the law, you need to know business law. You need a good lawyer. Um, you probably have to pay him every month because you're gonna get a lot of problems here and you're also going to need him to prevent problems and, and, and make some problems. 28, having tons of contracts, that goes with the uh, rental ones. There are lots of contracts and it can be annoying. 29, people sending you CVs to constantly, you're going to get this whether you like it or not because um, people want to work and I don't blame them and I think that's good. 30, people asking for jobs constantly. I always get, how's your health, Brian? Well, uh, I've been okay for the last six years and, and oh, can I have a job, please? Oh, oh um, no. No, I'm just, I'm just like kind of joking about that because I always get guys asking me how was my family, how's my health, and then bang, can I have a job? I would actually rather you just ask me if you can have a job and then uh, ask me how I am after because that, that's what I do because I, I go straight for the kill when I speak to people because it's genuine and then after I and then after I, I catch up so um, I, I don't want CV sent to me but I, I had a, I had this problem before I still get it it's not a big problem it's okay I'm cool with it um, 31 people are always um, offering you um, investments continuously. I had this problem on LinkedIn. I think, I think I've sorted out by taking the investor bit out of my um, information. I'm not looking to invest in people. I'm not saying I wouldn't, I definitely would, but I'm not looking, I, I'm waiting for the right person, the right opportunity. Um, yeah, people are always, um, so the 32 or 31, I, I, they're always asking you to invest and they're always, um, people are asking to invest in you. Most of the time people want to invest one or two million. I'm not interested. I did put an advert up once offering a percent, a fixed percent and have it as a loan. No one was interested, so I'm not interested in that. 33, important ties acknowledging you as a human. I, can't, I, I guess I was a bit jaded that day. Um, this was written three years ago. Yeah, um, if, you, if you've got um, a Mercedes, for example, you're going to get a completely different experience and this is one of the reasons why i brought my wife in a mercedes i mean she works hard for it she's as much an owner as me really um when she turns up somewhere and she gets treated decently she's had racism before because she's dark skinned and she, but she, her mannerisms are, are, are polite and she she's um nice but you know she just you just get treated like crap sometimes so she turns up in a mercedes Everyone treats her nicely. She's paying the same as everyone else. She probably leaves a tip. Um, so ha having a Mercedes was kind of like uh, try to be a door opener. If I turn up to a meeting and there's two Mercedes there, people will listen and they'll give us more information. Whereas if you turn up on a motorbike, you're like a million other guys here just, just faking it and chancing it. 34. Investors are happy and they don't contact you because you pay them and you pay them well. 35, favours offered and favours given. So when you've got a media company and you've got bars and you've got ladies and you've got staff, you can actually help people out sometimes, you know. You can share your resources and also you can you can get some back sometimes. There's a lot of guys that want something from you. They either want um, to be your friend or they think that you can get them out, get them out of jail one day so they offer you favours. That, that's good and that's natural. I'm, I'm all for that. I'm, I'm, I'm the same. I'm always... Um, offering to help people out. Uh, 36, having lots of staff to do everything. So you're in a position where you've got staff, you can start delegating things and that means you can speed up how, how much faster your next business is because you can delegate. You don't have to do everything yourself. Um, 
having uh, 37 monthly expenses going through the roof. So you, I can't really talk about this too much, but the two Mercedes I pay monthly, you know, and then mortgages and we've got, you know, rental for the bars and the TPN media, it, it starts to work out with some serious money and that's why you have to try and make some because you need to pay it. And some people say, well, you've only done the news to make money. No, the news loses me a lot of money. I've done the news for other reasons, um, but we do have to pay the staff and we, we do have 10 people there. So you have to work harder and be more responsible. 38, kids going to the best schools. Getting your kid in the best school, people say to me, well, my kid um, has a very good education. It's the same as your kid. Well, it's not the education. You're paying for the, um, for the contacts. The problem we had is that we went to Tara Patton the school, which is about 33 pounds a month for Anthony, and he's nine years old. And then rugby school opened, which is 60 odd thousand a month for his age. And then all of the richest um, children in the whole area have gone there. Now, I don't need Anthony to speak posh and to be highly educated, but I do want his friends to be business owners and and everyone's playing the same game. Everyone's take, sending their kids to the best school to have the best contacts. Anthony's best, one of Anthony's best friends at school, family owned the Trepsit Market. So all of my education that I've paid, all the money I've paid for Anthony is possibly going to be made back from just that one deal with... Um, by him ha being good friends with, with them. He's, he's staying with them now at the weekend and maybe he can get some stalls um, later on and, and run a business there with him. Um, better hospitals, right, so I, I can do a big video about this. I go to Bumagrad in Bangkok for serious problems. This is the best hospital in Thailand and I had a big operation done there exactly one year and one day ago where they um, took the bag off around my heart and that cost 720,000 baht. Now I think if I went to a government hospital, I don't think I would have made this video. I don't know, but um, I, I've got a lot of experience with hospitals. I'm gonna do a video about it and I'm gonna, I get annoyed with people saying that government hospitals is good, are just as good. They're, they're not, they really aren't. But, if I had no money and you know it's just a local broken leg or something, then maybe I would go there. I wouldn't go there for something where your life depends on it. But I would, I would still go there if I had something small to do that that just was cheaper. I'll do another video about that. So um, number forty, knowing more police. Uh, when you do business here, you um, know more police and more authorities, especially when you're doing the media. I, I don't need to explain any more than that. 41, knowing government officials. Um, so when you're doing licenses, when you're having problems, when planning permission, when you're um, coming up with crazy ideas, um, and also when you're trying to proactively, proactively network, plus the um, news, you, you meet um, officials in each office. So my wife becomes known in these places because of the licenses and everyone else. 42, access to more women. Um, that's debatable, but it's not debatable in Bataya because if you're making more money, then you can um, play harder. 43, giving suitable friends jobs. So it gives you the power to give your, your mates jobs. I mean, I don't do this so much anymore because I, I know what effect it has on the business. If you give your mate a job and then you have to fire him, then maybe he won't be friends with you anymore. Maybe he's not the right person. There, there is a friend in the UK that I would possibly give a job to just on the back of he's a friend of mine, but it wouldn't be Night, Nightwish Group. It's not fair with the others. But you, you do have the um, ability to help people. 44, knowing many business owners. So you either meet them at seminars, you meet them at um, um, City Hall or other places or you just meet them as you face challenges together and you, you talk about problems, you know, like the payment process of problems. A lot of bar owners have been talking about this because everyone has the same problem. So you do meet other business owners. Other business owners come to you for investment, um, if they can get investments, partnerships. 45, helping friends get jobs. Um, 
you can actually I've actually helped quite a few friends get jobs because I know business owners and I know the opportunities that they're thinking about so sometimes I can place someone in, in that job or they just need someone they can trust and I know someone I can definitely trust but maybe not maybe not suitable so I've helped a lot of people get jobs like that but it's a very tough thing to do and it's very rare 46 um, lots of stuff become free uh, to use so you do get benefits here and there um, obviously if you're an influencer or you're a youtuber then you'll get more benefits but you do get um, business owners letting you have things for free it, it's not not for reviews and things but um, you know I've got friends who will lend me their cars and and everything because they know that I'm good for it uh, and um, I've got deals with them so 47 getting random haters now um, when you become a baron and it's successful you kind of think well people leave me alone but they don't you get guys that are really really um, salty because their mindset is is on the attack whereas their mindset should be hey what's this guy doing let's learn from him let's copy him 48 people talking about you if I say something stupid then everyone will talk about it if someone else, um, random guy, says something completely racist and stupid, it gets ignored. I learned this very quickly. Um, there's a guy, there's um, there's people out there that scam all over town, uh, but nobody knows him, so they don't care. If I did one scam, um, everyone would know. So you do get more people talking about you um, for stuff that you would you wouldn't you wouldn't ever think. Forty nine media attention. You're going to get media attention, but most of the media attention I've got, or 99% of it, is because I've wanted it and there's been some control. I found the media very good. That's not because I owned a media company. Um, I just found them very good in general. There's a few documentaries that could have um, made me a problem, but they didn't. They were okay. Maybe they didn't want um, me on their back. I don't know. 50. Making police reports often. We have to make police reports often when um, bad things happen for our own protection. There's a couple of guys having a dispute in town at the moment and one guy's having to make police reports just to let the police know. So in Thailand the police don't do anything when you when you make a police report. Um, they, they have to put pressure or you have to get someone to talk to them or you, maybe you need to pay some money. So you can make police reports about people all day to scare them or to warn them and nothing will happen. But it's a good trick to do. If someone's harassing you, make a police report. Um, making, yeah, sorry. Um, knowing lots of landlords, you'll, you'll get to meet landlords for, for different reasons. People asking you for advice. So I've always, just because I've lived here for 14 years and I talk about business doesn't mean I'm an expert. Um, th there's some rich people out there or bosses out there and everyone will ask them like they're an authority. I'm not an authority on, on um, you know, visas and, and certain things. So, if you're asking me about real businesses in Bangkok, then I'm probably gonna, I'm probably not gonna know so much. But I know someone that does know, so it doesn't matter to me. I don't have to know, any, know everything. I have to know people that know. So, my job is to network and know people that can answer all my questions. Um, Fifty-three people ask you for help. They'll ask you to borrow money. 54 you're going to get more messages than ever because you've got more staff you've got more landlords you've got more police you've got more problems 55 struggling to find more time time for family now when you're starting out you have less time for family as you make more money and you can get all your jobs covered you're in a position like like me where I can choose to stay in for the day and I, I'm always uh, at home around three when my when my children come home and then I try and be up in the morning. Um, 40, 56, your wife can get fed up because of, of uh, you walking too much, but she's okay with that. Because I got her working too, that's a good trick. 57, why thinking every female wants you? Now, some guys say to me, oh, if I had a Mercedes, all the women would be after me. It's not true. If you drive a Mercedes around, um, all of the girls that have no money or on, on the poverty line, they're just gonna think, well, this guy is not accessible to me. This guy's not on my level. I won't dare approach this guy. 
Whereas you look at some of the go-go girls that, and they're earning serious money, all of their Thai, Thai boyfriends are scruffy because they're from the same working class. So if you drive nice cars around, you're actually isolating yourself. Yes, you might attract some some um, rich high so ties, but they're not looking for Farangs that live in Bataya that have nice cars. So you've, you've just took yourself out of the market. And it doesn't impress the girls, it, it really doesn't. You're better off driving that Daihatsu, um, the mirror, it's a joke, they, they find it funny. So the, the, the dynamics don't change, but um, there are women out there that will like a guy if he's got more money. 58, using builders daily, you end up with your own maintenance team, you end up with the same builders, um, you end up with a team of people working. 50, you get more partnership opportunities, people want a, a piece of action, especially when they realize everyone's getting paid. 51, people assume you have excess money to use. I'll give you an example of this. Someone might say, oh yeah, well, that guy's got loads of money because he's got a BMW. He's stupid. No, that guy's got lots of money because he's worked hard. He's paying advertising to people all over town. He's um, getting getting shit done. And what you're seeing there is a result of, of um, 10, 20, 30 years worth of work. And you don't know what, what, what he's been through for, to do that. You don't know how many times he's cried, he's lied on the floor, he's collapsed, he's felt like giving up. People don't see all that pain, they just see the end result which is fine. When you see a guy with his top off, showing his muscles, people are like, well, look at that wanker, he's taking a bow. Yeah, but I, that guy's worked hard for that. He's had to, he, he, he hasn't been able to eat all the food he wanted to. He's had to um, diet and he's had to um, be down the gym every day and he's had to miss things, you know? So you gotta take all these in, into account. What's, what's, that, what's that guy gone through? Um, if I'm buying a bar for like three or four million and someone will say, oh, Brian's rich, you know, it's not me, it's it's the company that, that has to pay for that. It doesn't mean that, mean that I've got loads of money, but people just make those assumptions. 52, people assume you're some business guru. I covered this each recently. They do, and, and that's good in many ways, but also there's lots of guys out there that will try and discredit you as much as they can. Um, 63, inspiring people, which is what I want to do. 56, people imitating you. So so people will copy you, that's great in some ways, especially if they're respectful. 65, daily bills, yes, lots of bills every day, everywhere. <laughs> I don't have to deal with most of those, the, the cashiers deal with those. Paying rent daily, when you've got 30 buildings, you're paying rent almost daily. Well, obviously there's a load at the start and middle and the end of the month, but you are paying rents and bills daily. Looking at new businesses, so you've got excess money, you've got skills, you've got staff, so it's time to look at more businesses. And people say to me, well, why are you looking for a restaurant? You don't want one. You, you said you weren't gonna get one. If I find the right opportunity, of course I'll go for it. If I find a business where the stars aligned, it doesn't matter if it's something I hate, I'll go for it because um, let's say the right person for the right job that, to run that business, he's keen, it's a great location, I've got the money. So like, okay then, I don't like this business, but I've got the right guy, I've got the right location and I've got the money, let's do it. Looking at opportunities all the time, so you're constantly learning how much is the rent there, how much is the key money there, what's this guy doing, how much is he making, what cars he got. You're looking for data all the time because you're you're trying to learn the town, you're trying to learn what's going on around you. 69 regular meetings, you will get more meetings and then when you get into more businesses, probably less meetings because you probably don't need to go anywhere because you've got your management team in there. 70, making regular sacrifices. If you've got, if you've got, um, your your business has to be important more than anything. If it's a funeral or there's a, a wedding or something, and it's impractical, you're just gonna have to say to them, look, I'll, I'll send some money, I'll, I'll give a donation, I'll drive down, I'll be there, and I'll, I'll be there an hour and I'll come back. And most people will understand your situation, but some people want a week off, they want, a, they want time off for Christmas, um, there's none of that 
I my my aim of my day is to keep my week completely free. So when there's an emergency, when there's a problem, I can I can take care of it. If I had a full time job and I was the CEO and owner of these businesses, then I'm unable to help. So during COVID, I can't run off and go work somewhere. I have to be here because our guys are good and they can work without me. But they 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 definitely needed me during this COVID period, and we need each other. Not not just for skills, but for morale and having people there. So you, you can't run off and, and have a new job and and go on a holiday for six months. You, you need to be around. 71, spending more time delegating and working. So that's a good sign you're doing well. 72, you become mentally stronger. You're dealing with more cash. You're dealing with more people, more problems, inspiring people. You have to toughen up. 73, trying to read more. So learning's good. I cheat, I use Audible. So when I say I'm reading, I've actually listened to it, but it, it just, um, it's easier to say I've read that book. Um, I have read some books, but I've, I, I fall asleep, so I, I have to listen to it in the car. No time for TV and movies. People talk to me about TVs and movies. I have no idea. Um, I, I've watched your series with my wife. Like we, we try and watch one hour a day. We haven't done that for two months, but we try and do that one hour a day, watch TV before we go to bed. We try and go to bed at the same time. 75, you learn to suffer. Suffering is great. Anyone who does any martial arts will know this. Um, it's not the training that we enjoy. Some guys do, it's the benefits after. It's walking around, feeling fight and fit. You know you're good, you know your family's good if someone wants to kick off, or at least you've got a better chance. Um, 76, you learn to ignore problems. People ask me how I sleep at night. Well, a good trick is, is write all your problems down on, on, on paper and put it away. And in the morning, you pick up those problems. I don't need to do this. I just, um, I have an amazing ability to ignore my problems when I need to. And some people would be panicking, worrying, but I just say, ah, you know, it's whatever. We, we've got no control over COVID. So let's stop worrying about it. All we have to do is do more on live, on live uh, videos, um, get more money that way, and then focus on our own problems and forget the world. The world will change by itself, and then hopefully our business will get some people coming in again. Um, 77, you end up flying airplanes often. I mean, not flying my dad's airplane, but you end up going on holiday and you end up going to see people, sem seminars and all these other things. Um, 78, I can't believe I wrote that. I'm not gonna say it on YouTube. <laughs> 79, less people criticizing you. Um, yeah, people wanna be nicer. People want to um, say things to um, get, get you to do things. You know, some people wanna be part of your inside gang or they wanna be close to you or they want a job um, so they will be nice to you some people are scared I, I like constructive criticism privately but the, the, some people have a, a really bad mindset and I, I just can't accept their um, criticism because it is it's just their mindset and their lack of understanding of the situation people tell me that I shouldn't do a YouTube channel but they don't understand what I've been through so they shouldn't be saying that without asking questions first. I'm, I'm amazed at the comments that people write all over the internet. I'm thinking, how have, you made, how have you made this without asking the guy questions first? You're just making a generalization. And I see comments just so far whack that, you know, they're not even criticisms. Um, number 80, leading various things. So you might get invited to the PTA at school to or local community things you might be asked to talk at events and maybe be a leader of club scouts I, I don't know 81 saying the words project often well that, that was a bit of a rubbish one 82 having a boat that you never use yeah that's another story I'm gonna do luckily I was smart with mine I bought a cheap boat and then I got a jet ski and Put it this way, it didn't work out very well. Um, it, you just don't have a time and, and then you've got to go out and be out there early because of the waves and th there's a few issues there. It, you've really got to be into boats, you're just better off renting it. I've been down a boat route, but I never spent a lot of money. I think it was about 140,000 baht. 
So I, I did do it the smart way. Um, hiding assets, right? So a lot of people don't want anyone to know um, what properties and other things they have around. Um, me and a friend of mine, we have we have a a unit for a bar, and we don't tell anyone that it's ours. So the people who rent it don't really know. Um, we just keep out of it because you don't want people knowing too much about what you've got here. Um, it just it just gets people jealous. It's not the authorities. If you start driving a Bentley around Bataya, I've heard some bad things. But having a having a Mercedes, it, it's okay. It's cool. But if you start showing off with money around town, there is an elite group of scammers um, at high levels. I'm not going to mention, but they are um, they they are trouble, and, and I know one of them. Um, yeah, I, that's the stupid thing, sir. I can't really talk about it, but put it this way one of them is a lawyer and they do go after after heavy people um, having so many companies you can't remember now you do have to set up companies here for various reasons so like you might have one per business or you might have one for work permit sometimes you can lose track of how many companies you have and sometimes you don't have companies for certain businesses and yeah, um, I don't know what I was getting at there, but that that we do have companies that we probably need to close. But my wife takes care of that, so she probably already has. 35, bankers trying to sell you stuff every time you go in. Yeah, they see your bank balance and they're always trying to sell you insurance and all sorts of other nonsense. Salespeople badgering you. You used to get this a lot more with banks. They used to come around your house and knock on the door. They don't do that anymore, but we do get phone calls. But I reckon a lot of people get the same phone calls. But you do get a lot of people um, um, trying to sell, sell stuff to you. Um, there's always lots of uh, people that want you to pay them for advertising. Which I always say, I don't need to. I, I do advertising on Facebook and we've got YouTube and social media stuff. And I've got my own platforms. Having the ability to clear the day when you need to. So when, you, when you're successful in business, you can quite often delegate it for now and you can change meetings. Whereas if you're starting out, you can't change meetings with people because it's rude. But if you're, if you're rising up in the ranks and a guy needs you and you don't need him, then you can say, well, look, I, I, this isn't convenient for me. Can I change it? So you do have um, more control over your time, especially if you're paying for the lunch, you know, you have every right to change it then, um, I think, if you're paying. So, um, 20, 38, being able to keep on top of health issues swiftly. So when I have a health problem now, because of my experience, I jump on it quickly. I don't mess around anymore. Um, but some other people, they're like, well, I don't want to spend 10,000. I'm not going to go to this hospital. It's too expensive. The hospital, if you've got the money, it's worth doing, especially if it's serious. I'm going to cover all that in the video. Um, your plans become, become bigger and larger and more distance away. The more books you read about mindset and business, the more re you realise that you have to have long-term plans to win the game. That's where true success is. When I was up and when I was uh, young, I wanted to get rich fast. So I was thinking about making money this week. Now I'm thinking two, three years ahead, so people don't understand me anymore because I'm looking at getting positions and then making money later. The media is a, the four or five year game. Most people give up. Most people think that it's not going to work. It is. It's just it just requires money and staying power, and um, people people believing you because you know my wife used to say, "Well, why is money going out every month?" I said, "Don't worry, it will come back later." Um, having less doubts, you do become more sure of yourself as you um, become more successful. But the wiser you become, the more you realise how stupid you were. Every week I, I learn something and I think, I can't believe how stupid I was before. And this is going to happen last week. And I, and, I, and that's what says to me is that I'm learning because I, I keep thinking I can't believe how stupid I was. I'm so stupid about things I'm doing now that I don't know, but next week I'll know. So the more I learn, the more I learn that I don't know and that the wiser I become, but also the, the more um, I realise that how, how dumb we can be and even now and even later. So um, getting things done faster, 
more freedom to break the law. Now, I'm not talking about corruption here because corruption doesn't happen in Thailand. I am talking about you can piss up a wall in England and pay a fine. You know, that's a good example. But read into that wherever you want. Um, paying more local authorities. So we have to make donations. We have to do things. I'm not going to spell it out. Sometimes we have to buy new fridges. Um, sometimes we have to donate to children. Uh, sometimes you have to buy new jackets for the army, everything's cool. Um, people don't pay tax here or they don't pay too much tax here. So I have no problems with helping the authorities out because they've got, they, they need to have their system and their salaries paid the same as us. 94, you, having security, so you, you have security around. I've got security at the village. I've got... Um, security to work for us that can help us out if we're going to some event or something's happening you know one of my friends was opening a nightclub and all these people were coming here and you know i took a load of bodyguards for him and he he really appreciated it because everyone was talking you know there's just like a bit of fun like that but sometimes um we have like staff with an issue when we can provide security or one of my friends has been threatened and I've, I've, I've offered him security to go somewhere. Um, this is like celebrity level. It's not, in England you wouldn't have this, but there are guys willing to um, do things for you and look after you and having a gated community is a big difference. Um, having problem solved is one call away. So you've got consultants, you've got all of these other people that charge a lot of money that are available. I'm sure that if I have a problem, I can pick up the phone and sort it out. People said to me over the last few days, you should be paying people to sort these problems out. I don't think that you can pay always for every single problem. I had two people um, doing most of the work. I was just involved. I had my coder that works on the news and then we had a, a website guy that's very good and he was fixing the problems that the website guy couldn't do. and. You know, I've got the access to the money. Um, we're all working together. We trust each other. People are saying to me that we can use their crypto websites and stuff. Sure, I don't. I don't really want to put all of this money through someone else's website that I don't know. So it's easy to say you can pick up the phone, and you can pick up the phone more times than you think. There's people out there for everything. When you learn about consultants later, you're like, well, there's a payment processing guru. Or there's a, there's, a, there's a zip up my flies guru. There's a guru for how to stand up and piss properly. You know, there's, there's, there's gurus, for, I was only joking about the last one, but there's gurus for everything and there's consultants for everything. And if you don't want to do something, I don't want to design bars. And I found a guy that, that can do it and enjoys doing it. So he designs our bars now. That, that was a big headache for me. Sometimes I, I have these little problems like um, the design of a building or design inside a place. And I struggle with design. I guess if I think more about it, I could. And a lot of people, they, they love that. They wouldn't struggle with it. I struggle with thinking of um, new ideas sometimes. You know, I joke that it's women and stuff who designs in houses. I'm probably gonna annoy a few people there, but I think women are more creative in this way. Whereas I'm looking at other things you know the layouts uh, and people are they have like a random idea for a certain um you know uh, ornament or something you know i'm rubbish at that but that's simple for quite a few people people trying to rip you off people giving you silly ideas people asking you for ideas continuously um spending less time in the house now i spend more time in the house because i don't need to go out so much um, lack of sleep sometimes because when you're working on something you 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 have that is number one if that means going to bed at 3 a.m. and getting up at 6 a.m. then I, I just say that's the way it is but people who say to me you've got to keep your health and everything on top I, I 1 million percent agree with that but sometimes you've got a situation and you just have to get on with it and you can't say oh yeah well I don't go, I go to bed at 12, so I, I can't do it. No, you're doing it. And if that means no sleeping for two days, then, then do it. But one, one thing I'm going to say about that, your lifestyle shouldn't be like that 24 hours, seven days a week. It should be like that very rarely. 
one thing I always say to people, you should always get enough sleep. Um, power naps during the day help out a lot if you've got problems. Um, the 101 um, one is more expectations from you. So people can expect more of you. They expect you to chip in more when you go for a meal. They expect you to be the one to give them a lift. They expect you to be the one that's gonna give them a loan. They expect you to give them business when they open their company. Um, if you find yourself with any of the, the ones I've just spoken, then you'll become a successful business. Of course, life success is just happiness, but if you like to sit on the edge where most people are uncomfortable, you're gonna get many of these benefits and disadvantages. Some people don't want a stressful life. Some people just wanna live in, in a cave and you know, just masturbate all day, that's fine. I, I think that no one's right or wrong. I think that happiness and happiness of people around you and taking care of your family is important. This was a little bit of fun. Please don't take it too much serious, too seriously. Um, you know, it, it might seem like you either, I don't know, just, just um, let me know in the comments. I've, uh, I've finished here now, it's been a long video. You can watch it on 2x, uh, there's no point saying that now because you've already finished. Okay, thanks a lot guys, cheers.